Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can embed videos on a SharePoint page. So here I have this marketing site, and I have this page, which is empty at the moment. We're going to embed some videos here. And on this side, I have this document library that contains some images and videos. So I want to embed some videos. Uh, let's go ahead and make it happen. So we added the page. So uh, you can either embed one video at a time or multiple, all right, at the same time. So I'll show you the single video for now. Uh, so you click the plus sign. Now, in the past, uh, the videos used to be stored in Stream, you know, which is now called Stream Classic. Essentially, it's a, it's a separate platform. So we used to use this particular web part in the past, not anymore. So you don't want to use this. Uh, because right now, uh, the videos are essentially stored in SharePoint. So uh, let's go ahead and embed this. Uh, the web part, if you want to embed a single video, the web part you want to utilize is called Files and Media. This is the same web part you can utilize to embed like a Word document or PowerPoint on your uh, SharePoint page as well. But in our case, it's going to be a video. And then essentially all you need to do is just point to where the videos reside. Uh, it's in the site and this library. And here we go. We're going to pick one video over here. And this is it. Uh, this is it. I mean, the, the video is here. Um, you can uh, obviously alter some additional settings, maybe a thumbnail and description and all that. Um, so you can tweak that. But uh, essentially, this is it. The, uh, if you need to embed a single video, this is how easy it is uh, to do it. And obviously, you can play the video right from within a, a SharePoint page. Now, the second scenario, I want to embed all the videos that are stored in this library. So uh, let me show you the trick. Uh, again, we edit the page. The, obviously, you can maybe uh, embed this file on media web part three times or multiple times. But the web part you want to use is called highlighted content, highlighted content web part. It's a web part that essentially um, you know, presents the results uh, based on the search query. So it queries against uh, what's available on the site, whether it's documents or videos, and presents them here on the page. Uh, so by default, I guess it queries for some documents. We're going to change that. Click the pencil icon. So we're going to choose the source. So the source is actually a library on the site. It will be very, very specific. And uh, um, uh, I guess I have a, uh, you know, a bunch of uh, libraries. Um, so let's choose the uh, right library. So we said, okay, choose this library. Uh, you know, essentially the source is a library. Then you tell it which one. And then document type, remember I have um, a mix of videos and images. We only care about uh, videos. So we're going to say document type video. And you can see right away, uh, it essentially filters everything out. Uh, just the videos have uh, been displayed. And that's pretty much it. Uh, now, by the way, you can actually alter the um, you know, the uh, style, I guess. There is not much in terms of kind of presentation, so feel free to choose whatever, uh, you know, style box. Let's call it videos. Uh, but this is it. This is it. Uh, and you just republish it, and it's the same idea. Um, essentially, the essentially the videos are now presented. So uh, if you maybe uh, have, uh, I don't know, a library of town hall videos, or maybe, I don't know, barbecue videos, Right, you captured a few and you want to present them right on the page. Uh, this is definitely a very uh, nice trick uh, to follow. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully, you learned uh, something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my uh, YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.